both contestants have now finished cooking. I would like to invite them to present their dishes to the judges for evaluation. We will proceed in the order that the contestants finished. Xiangling, please describe your dish. My dish is... Jiyun chili chicken with sides of triple-layered consomme and crystal shrimp. The theme is... Of Earth and Waterborn, which includes land and sea. In other words, land animals, fowl, and seafood are all potential ingredients. My main dish, Jiyun chili chicken, is a combination of fowl and chilies. Jiyun chilies capture the essence of the mountains where they grow, and fowl is a gift from the heavens. Triple layered consomme also uses fowl, and its other ingredients are ham and bamboo shoots. These are also flavors from the mountains, but they complement and contrast with the chicken dish. Fresh instead of spicy, cold instead of hot. The crystal shrimp is made from a combination of rice, shrimp meat, and carrot. A thin, translucent skin wraps diced carrot and a whole shrimp. Fresh, crispy, and tender. Shrimps are a gift from the ocean. Tightly wrapping them in a skin made from rice makes this dish a blend of land and sea. Fresh with a hint of sweetness. It's the perfect note to end this course on. Ooh, a strong delivery there from Xiangling. Let's see what our next contestant, Yan Xiao, has to say. My dish is... Adeptus Temptation with a mint salad and golden shrimp balls. As Xiangling says, earth and water means land and sea. So birds, land animals, and seafood were also the ingredients I incorporated. Adeptus Temptation is a much-loved dish in Liyue. And as chef of Wang Shuin, I've always been proud to offer this as the signature specialty dish of our menu. It's a complex dish with very particular ingredients. Smoked ham, crab, fresh shrimp meat, and matsutake. I chose this as my main dish as a sign of respect toward my profession and to this competition. The mint salad is my first side. Cool and tender with a subtle sweetness. It's a perfect answer to the rich and strong flavors of the Adeptus Temptation. Golden Shrimp Balls is a time-honored classic loved by everyone. A hearty and wholesome broth, followed up with a shrimp ball. <laughs> oh, pure bliss. Mm, Paimon can smell it from all the way over here. It's driving Paimon crazy. Judges, please sample the dishes. Mmm, very impressive. Both contestants' dishes are well-considered, expertly made, and truly delicious. I'm gonna have another golden shrimp ball. Uh, um, I mean, <clears throat> I shall have to sample both contestants' dishes once more before I can reach a verdict. Now, Xiang Ling has taken an interesting approach here. She's chosen a cold dish as her main. I have to say, that's a bold move. It's also a unique take on Zhuiyun chili chicken. Although the dish as a whole is served cold, the chili peppers have been stir-fried, so they're still just a little warm on the inside. You get a nice crunch as you bite in. Then you get the spiciness and warmth all coming in together, and then just a hint of that wonderful pepperiness to top it all off. <laughs> It's quite simply extraordinary. <clears throat> this Adeptus Temptation is quite exceptional. The triple layer consomme is also a very superlative contribution. Excellent flavor, well balanced between sweet and savory. Yes, the standard is very high. Judges of the select panel, I will now ask you to consider your votes carefully before writing them down and handing them to me. Also, the organizing committee has selected today's audience judges, and they are now evaluating the dishes. Everyone who's been lucky enough to sample today's dishes, please consider and cast your vote independently. Uh, how are we not involved in this? Why didn't they pick us to be judges? Paimon has buckets of passion and oodles of expertise when it comes to food. Uh, if they don't want Paimon, it's their loss. chefs there are in the world, and for all the amazing dishes that I can cook, the fact remains that you're the one who treats Paimon the best. 
Thank you all for waiting. All votes have been received and counted, and the results have been returned to Ningguang. I now invite Ningguang to take the floor and announce the results of the Masterful Chef's Finals. It is my pleasure to announce that the winner of the Masterful Chef's Finals is... <laughs> By a mere one vote margin, Xiangling! Wow! <laughs> what? How is it so close? Oh, there it is. <sighs> I knew it. It was a close contest, but we have a winner. Liu Harbor's Xiangling has beaten Dihua Marsh's Yanshao by just one vote. There can only be one winner, but the fact that this was so close shows just how much both of these outstanding chefs managed to impress our judges. Thank you both for your stellar contributions here today. A big thank you to all the audience for being here today, especially those who have come from far and wide. As officiator, I declare the result of this competition to be fair and valid, thus bringing the Masterful Chefs finals to a close. Thank you all for coming. Until next time. Please exit the venue in an orderly fashion, and remember to take all of your personal belongings with you. Come on, let's go over and take a look. Like I won this time, Yan Xiao. But I'd still like to try your dishes, if that's okay. Sure, I'll have a try of yours too. Oh, truly exquisite. <laughs> no doubt in my mind why you're the winner here. Mm, this Adeptus Temptation is really good. It's so fresh, I'm almost moved to tears. <laughs> well. Just goes to show that you have a taste for the finer things in life. No, no, you've got me all wrong. We're just a small neighborhood restaurant too, so I totally understand. Food is life, and customers are at the heart of all food culture. So humble food cooking is not to be looked down upon. <sighs> is that right? Huh. I'd heard you'd gotten famous for your experimental approach to cooking and were all about fancy and exclusive foods. Never realized you'd done your time in a small kitchen, too. <laughs> well, there you have it. All the greats come from the smaller places. The same goes for you. You can't work in an inn kitchen unless you know how to consistently please customers. It's no wonder your food is so top-notch. You're the kind of competition I'm glad to have. Let's stay in touch. Maybe we can find some time in the future to... <laughs> uh, trade tips. You've got it. And next time we meet as competitors, let's both be even better than we are now. All right, deal. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for coming. Did you get to try the food? Don't even go there. Paimon still pees. <laughs> I can't believe it. You didn't get picked? Well, never mind. Don't get mad. I'll make some more for you when we get back. You will? Woohoo! Great! Oh, uh, the organizer said that Yen Xiao and I need to go register our delivery addresses. Apparently, they're gonna deliver an exclusive ingredients package and the prize money at a later date. So I need to get moving. I'll come find you guys after. Ah, uh, Xiangling seems really happy. Good for her! Looks like Kuching and Ningguang left already. As the organizers, they must have gone to wrap up some last-minute things. Let's go ask them for an update about the statue.
you found me. Huh? Is everything okay? <laughs> Traveler, I have found myself in something of a predicament. In the competition, I voted for Smiley and Xiao. So you're frustrated because you can't go back and vote for Xiangling instead? No, that's not it. As a judge, I had a duty to remain objective. I made my decision after thinking about it very carefully. My conscience is clear. Xiangling is my friend. So by rights, I should be honest with her about this. But, as you know, I voted based purely on my personal opinion. As a contestant, Xiangling may not be able to appreciate this. And I do not know how to deal with people of her temperament. <sighs> I just don't know how to break it to her. Ah, uh, it's no big deal. Just say it however comes naturally. Xiang Ling of all people isn't bothered about that kind of stuff. And anyway, she still won in the end. Oh, hey, here you are. I've been looking for you for ages. Xiang Ling, there's something I need to tell you. Hmm? W what is it? My grandfather always said to me, in contests of food, always follow your heart. Which is to say that in gastronomical disputes, or indeed competitions, one must cast their vote for the party that they agree with. This decision must be based on one's honest thoughts, not influenced by any external factors. Of course, that was just my grandfather's opinion, but I have to say, I am inclined to think he had a point. So, despite the fact that I am your friend, I cast my vote for Smiley Yen Xiao's Adeptus Temptation. <laughs> well, maybe it was. I like golden shrimp balls. Is that a problem? You were acting so serious that I honestly thought something was up. It's fine. Doesn't bother me one bit. Huh? You voted for who you wanted to. And that's totally okay. In fact, that's exactly how it should be. Otherwise, how could it be a fair competition? So, you made a point of telling me. Is that because you were worried that it made you a bad friend? <clears throat> I... Don't be absurd. <sighs> Didn't I say already? I love this about you. You're just so conscientious about everything. Half-baked feedback just isn't meaningful to me at this stage. Seeking reassurance is what novices do, and it's been a long time since I was a novice. The way forward from today will only get more challenging, as will the dishes I'll need to cook. Honestly, I'll need friends like you along the way. You have a strong sense of responsibility, Kuching. But you know, not everything is always about responsibility. Yes, you're a Qixing, but you're also you, Kuching. When you're with friends, you don't need to think about everything so thoroughly. You know that's what Ningguang's like, right? Beidou's always telling me about how well she gets along with Ningguang. They even play chess aboard her ship sometimes. So you see, Ningguang's kind of bold in that she doesn't let her identity and reputation get in the way of her ability to have a good time. You can take a leaf out of her... Traveler. Xiongling, I... Uh, anyway, what are we standing around here for? Let's go and check on the status of the... Oh, yeah! I haven't nearly forgotten!